southwest England and South Wales, which are for the next 24 hours, it just keeps on coming and some places, yes, could see as much as 80 millimetres of rain. And with the ground already saturated, that's going to cause some problems with time. Rain across many other southern parts of the UK as we go through the night and another batch of wet weather pushing up through Scotland. But it will be mostly rain rather than snow this time as that mild air percolates its way slowly, slowly northwards. But still quite a chilly night across the far north, but very mild in the south. Temperatures remaining in double figures and it's going to be another mild day tomorrow but another soggy one across many southern areas elsewhere there will be some drier spells a bit of brightness if you're lucky but uh, generally rain will never be too far away so as we go through the country mid-afternoon it's going to be quite a mixed bag really from the midlands northwards the best chance of seeing some dry and bright weather eastern parts of scotland for example not faring too badly quite murky still though where we've got snow still lying the slow thaw continues into Northern Ireland, there will be some dry spells, always the risk of a shower, but mild, look at that, 11 or 12 degrees. And then we run into trouble again across the southern half of Wales and particularly the far southwest, where again, it's going to be raining all day long. A lot of fog up over the high ground and around some of the coasts as well, it's going to be pretty misty and murky. 12, possibly 13 degrees across some southern areas, despite the cloud, despite the wind and despite the rain. Now that rain will gradually clear away as we go through Thursday night into Friday, lingering across the southeast, and then on Saturday, well, there you go. More wet and windy weather spreading across just about the whole of the UK. And that's the weather. I think I've said enough of yours.